In today's health, watch using champagne to ward off Alzheimer's. And are you paying for medication you're not even taking? Lisa Siegel is here with the answer. Yep, lots of news today, and of course, we're going to talk about champagne. So maybe the bubbly will help. I'm going to listen to that. All right. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Hello, everyone. But first, if your insurance has gone up this year, take a look at the bill. One reason maybe you're paying for pills you're not even taking. One example new cholesterol medication known as PSK9 inhibitors. Now, they were recently approved for people who can't take statins. Guess what? They cost up to $14,000 a year. How do they impact you? Well, the New England Journal of Medicine says if everyone eligible for these meds ends up getting them, our insurance could go up $124 a year. Well, cut your blood pressure and save your heart. That's the message from a new government study for people over 50. Getting that top blood pressure number below 120 could reduce the risk of heart disease by up to a third. Now, right now, most people don't get treatment until blood pressure hits 140, but this study says lower is better and aim for 120. We really need to be more aggressive about getting the blood pressure down, and this study is showing us how important it is. And what else can help? How about diet and exercise when lifestyle changes don't work? Medication may be the answer, and this study says the benefits do outweigh the risk. All right, we are now talking about champagne. Yay, I love this topic. Improve your memory, even cut your risk of getting Alzheimer's? Some say it can do that. A study from the UK, first done a few years ago, is trending now. It says, at least in the lab, champagne helped prevent forms of dementia and even helped memory loss. The reason those types of grapes used to make champagne contain a compound that helped memory function. So, how much should you drink? They say one to two glasses a week, that's all. But many experts caution this was a lab study, not done on people, so be careful. But guess what, guys? More studies to be done. Now, that would be a fun study to be in. Yeah, that's right. Volunteer. Where did we get three glasses a day? So that well, was just a, well, I yeah. got it. There's one, two, maybe three. That's just the extra, I guess. Okay. But parsley and blueberries are good for you, too, so you can choose that as well for your brain. Right. Thank you. <laughs>